Okay, so before we get into this video, I just want to make a disclaimer. This is not to hate on Destiny 2. I think Destiny 2 is a great game. Um, I think Destiny 2 has done a lot of stuff better than Destiny 1, but at the same time, they just kind of dropped the ball with a lot of things from Destiny 1 that you'd think would be, I don't know, they'd add into Destiny 2 right off the bat just because of how enjoyable it is. But, um, so let's get started here. So the first thing is Sparrow Flying. This is easily one of my favorite things to do in Destiny 1. I spent hours upon hours with my friends trying to sparrow fly into certain locations or do little kind of horse competitions. It was super, super fun. Um, and I just don't realize why they took it out of Destiny 2. Not only this, but in Destiny 2, sparrows are just shit. They die in like two hits, can't sparrow fly. They all look identical, um, except for the exotic ones. They do have some kind of perks on them, which is a little cool, I guess, compared to kind of kill that goblin with the sparrow that was sick they do have perks which i guess which is kind of cool but just in general the sparrows are just so nerfed compared to destiny one sparrows it's really unfortunate all right moving on strikes strikes are the worst part about destiny 2 they're not even implemented into the game it's literally just a playlist like you can't access strikes individually which is so poor and they don't even have a heroic heroic um, playlist or anything. Strikes are bare bones as shit in Destiny 2. They give you trash rewards compared to public events and they're just not fun to play. They're so long. There's only like five of them right now. I don't know. Strikes are just easily the worst aspect of Destiny 2. Maybe behind PvP. But if they were to fix strikes in Destiny 2, it would be incredible. The things that they need to add back that weren't in Destiny 1 are strike scoring, um, just shorter strikes in general. Um, modifiers. Hey, look at this snipe here. That was sick. I don't even know how I did that. Um, modifiers in general. Strike scoring. Um, also, another thing that like I think people really take as take for granted in Destiny One strikes was the heavy ammo boxes. Those were clutch as hell, dude. Those were sick. Um, just like look how fun this is. I'm just tethering all of them, sorting them down. I just I don't know. Strikes in Destiny One were just so enjoyable to just grind. And on top of this, the strike-specific loot was definitely one of the main reasons for people to grind strikes. And I, I did enjoy strike-specific loot before they invented, or not invented, before they added skeleton keys. Skeleton keys kind of ruined it a little bit, but um, just in general, strike-specific loot, I don't know why they took that out. Um, they don't seem to have any like specific loot in Destiny besides like the raid and trials, which is really basic. Speaking of loot, I also really wish... Here, here's the uh, heavy ammo box I was talking about. Look at that, 81 sword ammo, just imagine. But um, another thing in Destiny 1 that I really miss is the ornament system on endgame gear. Um, that's just like a whole other reason to grind for gear past getting a full set. So I, I really miss that part. Um, another thing about Destiny 1 is the snipers. They are amazing. And not only this, but being able to have a sniper and a heavy weapon, or like a shotgun and a heavy weapon, it's just, I don't know, it was perfect. I don't know why they changed the the gun meta at all in Destiny 2, it kind of sucks. Okay, this is hilarious. I was laughing so hard at this. I grinded for Amago loops for so long in Destiny 1, and my first Amago loop back, it's like almost perfect. If it had explosive rounds, it would have been a little better, but reactive reload is still a really a nice perk. So I got Outlaw Hammer Forge Reactive Reload. That's like literally top tier Amago loops, and it was just first time back. That was the first and only strike played. It's just kind of ridiculous. Another thing is the glimmer drops from enemies. Um, now enemies just kind of drop glimmer by themselves. There's no like real. Um, there's not an actual item that they drop. They have the hand of the Cryptarch, but I actually saved these, and I had about 126,000 glimmer after I saved a bunch of them, and I, I spent a bunch once Rise of Iron came out to try and level up faster, but I don't know, just saving them was like a really really fun part for me. And the final thing that I really miss about Destiny 1 is the mobility. Um, they, there's just nothing compares in Destiny 2 to how agile and fast your characters could be, and that's kind of the one of the things about Destiny 1 that I, or Destiny 2 that I really hate is just, you just feel so slow all the time. It sucks. Like, Hunters could use Bones of AO, Strafe Jump, and they can go really quick. Warlocks were a little hindered because they had to use a, a sword, but they were able to go super fast, like, nearly as fast as, like, a basic Titan Skate with the, with the Warlock Sword. But, 
Um, that also required you to also be using a sword all the time and use ammo. And then the infamous Titan Skate. I'm not the best Titan Skater. I'm pretty decent, but I know there are people that can literally Titan Skate faster than Sparrows move. Um, here I wasn't even using a good gun for it. What you would want to do is use like a, a sleeper simulant or a heavy weapon. Like literally a physical heavy weapon that makes you stay to the ground more. And that makes you um, Titan Skate faster because you you're, um, don't go as high every time you jump. But anyways, I just wanted to reminisce about Destiny 1, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys later.